Well, hello everyone. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold Learning. Welcome to all of our Gold Learning viewers. I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with Geraldine Cothill today, and she's going to be speaking at our upcoming symposium for childbirth education. And she's going to be speaking on breastfeeding, what birth workers need to know. Welcome, Geraldine. It's so lovely to have you here. Hi, Fiona. Lovely to be here. So here we are in our two countries, far apart. I know currently you're coming from, although I know you travel a lot, you're currently in Ireland. Is that correct? Yes, I'm in a little place called Skull in West Cork in at the seaside. That's one very pretty. Far. Oh, that's lovely. And, you know, you really should update us with some pictures in the forum later on. We all want to see that now that you've described it to us. So that's lovely. So I'm here with you today because we want to chat a little bit about what's coming up at our gold, uh, gold Learning Symposium here for Childbirth Education. And because you're going to be speaking on um, breastfeeding, perhaps we could just back up a little bit and you could tell our listening audience today a little bit about yourself and why this subject is so passionate to you. Oh, well, I became a breastfeeding counsellor with a little group in Ireland called Kudu way back in 1993. And very shortly after I had my fourth baby in 1994, I began training as a antenatal educator um, here in Ireland. So I have been working in birth and breastfeeding since sort of forever, really. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm passionate about both. That's so exciting, and, and I know, of course, um, being that we're friends, I do know a little bit about you, and I know, I can testify how passionate you are about what you do, so I'm, of course, delighted that you're here sharing on this topic that you're so passionate about. Now, tell me, you know, so many things have changed in our field over the last, you know, even 20 years, and, and I want to know from your point of view, um, are you feeling that we're getting more education to our birth workers? Do you feel like, you know, there's such a focus for our mums to get into a childbirth ed class? Are we seeing things change in the area of breastfeeding as well, Geraldine? Um, yes, I, I, I think there is more education. I think actually in the breastfeeding side of things, we're probably having more success than we are in general childbirth education. I think the, the messages around breastfeeding being just the right thing to do are have gotten through and mums are looking for breastfeeding education classes even more certainly in Ireland even more than they're looking for general breastfeeding a, a general birth education um, it's it there has been a shift because it used to be just all about the birth whereas now people are beginning to think about the, that postnatal period that fourth trimester and beginning to realize that they need to be educated about what happens afterwards as well seeing as we have lost the, the normal village feel that people used to have and don't have anymore. So, you know, the nuclear family has had big um, impact on postnatal stuff. Well, that's good to hear. And, I, and I'm really excited to hear that there, there has been a shift. I certainly know that um, uh, as a lactation consultant, I'm getting asked definitely more frequently for prenatal classes, you know, for breastfeeding. So that's really exciting. I'm glad that, you know, you're hearing that um, in Ireland as well. And so for our audience listening today, perhaps you could give us just a little snippet um, what's coming up in your presentation at our symposium, Geraldine. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to be looking at really is Looking at breastfeeding classes, what the information is that you need to provide in, in a, at, a, at a class, focusing that so that you're hitting the learning styles of the various people who might be in the room if you're doing a group class, or tailoring it completely to somebody if they are on their own at a class. 
Um, and then just taking a very brief look at some of the theories and the theorists behind adult education, because knowing and understanding about adult education helps you to focus in on what are the important things that you need to teach. Because we can all have lots and lots of information, but a pregnant mom isn't necessarily going to take all of that information on board, but she does need to know and she needs a lot of the information, but she needs to know it and, and get that information in a way that makes sense to her while she's pregnant. Well, now I'm ready to listen to the whole presentation, Geraldine. <laughs> you've got me you've got me right there. So I know that this is going to be great for all of us to um, you know, listen in and see what are we doing and how are we providing that information based on, you know, as teachers and then of course um, as our students, um, you know, of course listen in and are they really gaining the knowledge that they need to. So that's very exciting. Well, thank you so much. I, I know this has been short and sweet uh, sitting down with you here today, but it has been a pleasure and I'm really looking forward to hearing, of course, the full presentation coming up at our Gold Learning Online Symposium and I'm looking forward to having all of our listening audience there as well. So thanks again, Geraldine, for sitting down with me here today. And um, Thank you, Fiona. Well, thanks everyone for listening. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye for now.